Okay, so just welcoming you all into this space. My name's Natalie and this is Nikki. We both teach at Manchester Yoga Central here in Manchester and we have the lovely Echo here, which has opened up this space for us to just really arrive here and show you who we are. Um, we have a really big event on this weekend, which is gonna be a conscious clubbing event where we're really promoting just conscious awareness through our body, breath, movement, and just freedom to express here in Manchester. But as you arrive here, I just want you to begin to close down the eyes and really tune into maybe the intention as to why you've come onto your mat today, your practice, and just tuning out from any external distractions that might be moving around the mind, the body, and as you close your eyes, just feeling your sitting bones firmly rooted into the earth beneath you. Now, if you need to use any support at this point, I invite that in. Any cushions, props, it's all welcome. But just listening to your breath, those deep inhales, through the nose, trying to keep the mouth closed unless you're congested. But just feeling the crown of the head reaching up towards the ceiling, maybe even imagining this rope attached to the crown of the head. Watch it grow and lengthen all the way up through the ceiling, far beyond the roof of the space. Maybe you're outdoors, wherever you are, just feel that lengthening connecting to higher channels. Simultaneously feeling your shoulders dropping away from the ears. Feel that space around the collarbones, tracing around the rib cage. Allowing the belly to be full at this point. Not trying to hold yourself up too much offering compassion even as you set the tone for your practice a few more rounds of breath just focusing on the upper part of the body for now allowing the jawline to relax and clenching the teeth maybe noticing how the tongue rests in the mouth Consciously allowing your body to dissolve a little bit deeper into this present moment. Knowing that there's absolutely nowhere else that you need to be other than here right now. And then maybe drawing your internal gaze down through the sternum eventually landing into the pit of your stomach. And if it feels guided to do so, you can either stay still or you can bring your hands, your palms down towards the stomach area. Creating that sense of touch, weaving through that language of intimacy. Maybe today is the first time where you've sent that love back into self. So if movement's there, I want you to bring it in. Notice the texture of your clothing, temperature on your skin. I'm not trying to control the breath too much, but if there's space to create a more fuller exhale, I want you to go there. You can open the mouth. Letting the breath dissolve out through tongue, teeth, not worrying too much about the appearance. A few more rounds of breath here. Now 
now we're going to melt deeper into that breath. So I want you to just walk the hands out in front of you, keeping the eyes closed. And just walking the hands as far away as you can reach not tipping past that point of discomfort or holding, just allowing the forehead to just rest on the earth. Just becoming aware of the tailbone, the sitting bones pressing into the earth. We'll take a few more rounds of breath here. Dropping deeper into that soft gaze behind the eyelids. Last deep inhale, chest expands. And that exhale is our cue to just start to walk the hands back. Head is the last thing that comes up. Now, as soon as you arrive there, we're just going to start to bring the hands behind the bum. So your fingertips are going to face away from the body, maybe spreading those fingers nice and wide. Now, starting to really draw your shoulder blades together, open through chest. Now just keeping the chin tucked in just to stay with that moon breath option to start to squeeze into the glutes, shifting onto the knees if you've got that space. And I want you to really thrust the hips up towards maybe the ceiling. And then at that point, really asking if you can drop that chin back and still breathe with space not feeling constricted. Let's take a couple more rounds of breath there, pressing into fingertips. And then we'll slowly start to descend back down onto the floor. Now from here, we're just going to walk the hands back up in line with the body and we're gonna lengthen both legs out in front. So creating this really nice L shape in the body and you're gonna to start to flex into the feet. Now the hands are just gonna drop down beside the body sitting up nice and tall now your eyes might be closed for this one and if you're there i want you to visualize the shoulders stacking over the hips maybe even drawing the belly button to the back of the spine now all of your awareness is going to shift to the feet a space that we often neglect in the body and i want you to start to point and flex into that right foot nice and slowly now, if it feels guided to do so, you can synchronize that with the breath. So on the inhale, we flex. On the exhale, we point. Still sitting up nice and tall. Feeling that fire, that agony coming up through the thighs. And then whenever you're ready, you can shift onto the opposite foot. Just consciously aware of each movement in that ankle space, the toes. Last few rounds of breath. And then slowly we'll shift back to our seat, so Dandasana. And we're just gonna bring that right knee into chest. Now bring in that right foot over left thigh. We're gonna sweep the arms up nice and high. Now left elbow is gonna hook over that right knee as right hand comes behind the back and you're gonna to start to twist over that right shoulder. Sitting up nice and tall, maybe that left palm melts down onto the right thigh. We'll take one more inhale here. And exhale back to your center. Now as you face the front, you're just gonna shimmy that right foot a little bit higher up the thigh, dropping that right knee onto the left knee. Arms are gonna come high, deep breath in. Now this pose is gonna really start at the hips, the pelvic floor. And I want you to listen to that space, leaning and growing through chest, maybe the crown of the head. So it's like a slow motion fold. Maybe you're squeezing the thighs, so you're using that yang, really creating that structure. And then we'll drop into that yin. So we'll let go, we'll allow the back of the hands to just rest on the earth. Forehead down, relaxing the ankles, fingertips. Not trying to hold our head up, we do that enough in our daily lives. Take one more inhale. And exhale, you're going to walk the hands back, finding your seat again. Now, as you rise, you're just going to bring that right foot to the inside of left thigh. Once again, sit up nice and tall, feel that space in the hips. Arms are gonna come high. 
right arm to the back, left to the front. So we're creating that twist. Now your right hand is gonna come behind the bum as you do, we're pointing through left toes, coming on to the right knee, squeeze bum. We're coming into that back bend. Let's drop that left shoulder and then we'll come back onto our seat. Take your time. As you come back down onto your bum, your right leg is gonna extend. And we'll just switch onto the opposite side, left knee into chest. We'll bring that left foot over the right thigh. Sweep those arms high, deep breath in. Right elbow over that left knee. Left hand behind the back, creating that twist so shoulders are away from the ears. And then back to your center. Let's shear me that left foot up the right thigh. Squeeze thighs nice and tight. If you need to move any fleshy parts away, you can, dropping that left knee onto the right knee. Arms high, just to lengthen. Once again, connecting with that fire, that yang, and we'll breathe and reach as far forward as we can. You might even take a pause there before you just completely let go. Tongue is resting at the top of the mouth offering your body that pause, that stillness. Take one more inhale. And exhale, head is the last thing that comes up as you roll yourself up to your seat. And we'll just prepare for that little back bend. So left foot comes to the inside of right thigh. Arms high, reach through fingertips. Maybe start to bring that left hand behind the bum, lift onto that left knee thrust in through hips take a couple rounds of breath there really reach through right fingertip and then back onto the bum now we'll just come to that cross leg pose just finding our seat again now i'm just going to switch it over to nikki Okay, so just continuing with really using the earth today to help us to ground. So we're gonna just come to an all fours position and I invite you to take the hands under the shoulders, the knees under the hips. And we're just gonna do some circles here. So circling into the shoulders and into the hips. And we're taking a little emphasis on feeling the support from the earth. So I want you to kind of get the feeling of, Ah, when you breathe out and the weight is into the hands and into the lower legs and let's relax our bellies today just for this real restful feeling, this yin feeling and this connection to the earth. So as we move, we're kind of undoing any little patterns of tension that we've picked up from our day, from our week. And like the spirals can be like the unweaving of this. Let's take the circles in the opposite direction. And the belly's relaxed, the body's relaxed. And you can keep this sort of visualization of this undoing of tension, like an unweaving or an unpicking of tension. And you may want to take the movements into something that represents that for your body today in this moment. So you might want to circle the hips, circle through the shoulders, and just see if we can do this very unique pattern to you of undoing and unwinding. So the more we can unpick and let go of some things that are held in the body, the more freedom that we can have moving forward. So just this lovely somatic movement here. making the movements kind of a little smaller until you come to a still place in the hands and knees 
And we tuck the toes under and just slowly begin to lift the hips up for a downward facing dog. I just invite you to take this a little bit slower as if you're taking your time to arrive in that full expression. And just when you get there, back away a little from your full edge so that you can breathe a little bit deeper and just start to very gently visit that edge on the exhale. And on the inhale, maybe pull back a little from the edge and on the exhale, lift the hips higher. Now we're going to soften the knees and look forwards and step our right leg through into a low lunge pose, untuck the back toes and then breathe in as we reach the arms up into the air. We'll take the palms together now. Bend a little bit deeper. Let the feet really settle towards the earth. And I just invite you here, even though it's really tempting to open out, I just invite you to soften the bottom of the rib cage towards your pelvis. So this may mean just a little tucking of the tailbone and bend a little bit deeper as we do this. And this is giving you a little bit of space for the kidneys in the lower back and also for the adrenals that sit on top of the kidneys. So we're not always pushing forwards. We can deeply ground and settle that energy back, bring that space into the lower back. Take a little movement now while with the palms, we're gonna take the palms in between the shoulder blades behind you. Think about softening down through the tailbone. And if we can lift the elbows just to where it feels right for you. So it's a really opening through the heart center, but the lower half of the body is representing that grounding and that earthing. But the chest is bright and the heart is open. Bring the fingertips back to the sky and the hands either side of that front foot as we tuck the back toes underneath back up to your downward facing dog. Good. And then breathe in and step your left leg forwards, the back knee down into the ground and reaching up once more. We'll take those palms together, lengthen through the side body and just think about softening the lower rib cage down to the pelvis. So there's that lovely space in the kidneys. And let's get the sensation of feeling strong and grounded, but really present, we're not pushing forwards. And if we can again, bending the palms of the hands behind you in two, in between the shoulder blades and lifting the elbows up. Good. Really opening for the upper chest, keeping the connection to the ground, to the earth and then take the hands either side of the front foot once more. And let's just step your back toes to the front. So we're in a forward bend here. The feet are directly under the shoulders and soften the knees, allow your pelvis to fold forwards. We can bend the knees as much as you need to, to feel the chest on your thighs and hold underneath the elbows. And there's this real heaviness in the head. And you can really bend to feel the chest on the thighs and we bring that weight a little further forward so the hips are directly over the feet. So you may feel you're leaning more into the balls of the feet. And with the chest on the thighs, you can straighten a little more if you feel you want to on the exhale. And we lift those hamstrings upwards to the sky and the head and the elbows are heavy and weighted towards the earth. And then just let the arms hang down. We're gonna slowly roll up through the spine. I just invite you to take a couple of breaths to do this. Vertebrae by vertebra, stacking one on top of the other until we come to that upright position, the head, the last thing to come up. And we'll breathe in and just reach up with our arms here. Good. And from this position, the same. I always have a tendency to really open the front body, stick my rib cage out. Let's see if we can soften the bottom of the rib cage towards the pelvis. A little bit of softness now in the knees. So this is really good postural work here. And then lower the tailbone down towards the earth. And notice what this does to your energy. If you feel a little calmer, a little more grounded. 
If we can here, we're going to rise onto the balls of the feet. Think about crown lifting. Just do it as long as you can. If you need to lower the heels, do so. Really bring your attention now to the lower belly or also known as the hara, this center point of energy. Lower the heels down and then we're going to lower the arms down and then bend into a chair pose. Let's breathe in here. Beautiful, strong legs. Lower down with the arms. So we're kind of circling those arms down and then up to the chair. Circling down so the hips can fold a little lower up to the chair. One last time. There's a fluidity in the upper half of the body, but the lower half of the body is really stable. Lower down, hold it here. Beautiful. Take the palms in towards the heart center. Deep breath in here as elbows come wide and then take your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. We want to drive the outer thighs out because the legs are hip width apart here. And begin to take a gentle twist. Deep into the chair. Good, we're gonna breathe in, come back to the center and breathe out. Let's take the twist in the opposite direction and just drive the outer thigh out towards that left arm. Beautiful, back up to your chair. Open the arms, shoulder width apart, fold all the way forwards from here. Fingertips to the ground. We're gonna inhale and open the chest, look ahead. And exhale, fold back down for me. In this position, turn the toes outwards, hold onto the elbows, and let's see if we can come to a squat from here. You may need to rise onto the balls of the feet, and that's okay. Good, sending that chest forwards. Good, take the hands onto the floor, back onto your hands and knees, back to this stable place here. And then take the knees a little bit wider, big toes towards each other, sitting back into a wide knee child's pose. We're gonna lengthen the arms forwards, forehead on the ground. As we stay for five breaths, just being really present with those five breaths here. And as we inhale, can we breathe to the outer edges of the body? And as we exhale, can we gather our chi back into our center? So we're breathing together for another two deep breaths here. See if you can do a little bend of the elbows for the last breath and let the shoulders really go, let them soften. Beautiful. Let's walk the hands back. So we slowly come up from here. Good, we're just gonna sit over, swing the legs around, coming to cross leg position. And we're gonna finish with just a few little circles of the body and this beautiful unwinding feeling like we like we did on the hands and knees there's a nice theme of undoing here unpicking unwinding taking the circles backwards in the opposite direction There's no right or wrong way to do this. And again, if anything feels a bit better in the body, you might want to move side to side. If your eyes are closed, it helps to tap into our inner teacher. What can we unwind? What can we let go of? Maybe we want to start to move into the head and neck. Good. Bring in the head and neck, side to side. So you can see we're all doing, we're both doing different things. So what's feeling good? To, how can you unwind? What does your body tell you right now? We're going to slowly come to Shavasana, the corpse pose, which is the ultimate unwinding, the letting go. Shavasana is also known as the corpse pose. 
So that's the perfect letting go here. So as you lay down, I want you to lean into the support of the earth. The solid ground is underneath you and it's cradling and holding your body. And we can really ultimately let go and soften here. Into the ultimate support of Mother Earth. And using your exhale to get you closer to this feeling of surrender. You don't have to do it all at once. Bit by bit, tiny bit at a time. Every exhale is an invitation for that letting go. The belly soft, face is relaxed. And you deserve this time right now of stillness. And we're going to bring a little bit of movement again to the toes. And a little bit of movement to the fingers. And pay attention to your whole body as you lay here on the ground. Gently bring your knees into your chest. Let your knees rest over to the right hand side. And slowly come back up to your seated position. And hands as we roll up, hands can be either rested onto the knees, so coming back up to seat, or we can take the palms into the center of the chest. So as we, start, as we started in our meditation posture, a nice long spine, crown of the head lifts, hips feel rooted to the earth. And we take a few nourishing breaths in and just thanking yourself for carving out this time today to do your practice to unwind and to let go. And you are fully supported in this process of letting go when you offer this time and space. So we want to thank you for having sharing this time with both myself, Nikki, and Natalie today from Manchester. And we want to thank our beautiful friend, Echo, for sharing her platform with us today also. So namaste.